everybody and welcome back to the second day of I Love My STEM Career. As everyone watching knows by now, we have had two days of talking to very, very cool STEM professionals who are from a whole variety of different backgrounds. And I'm super excited about our next speaker. Our next speaker is JP McCorley and he is a music creator and a tech entrepreneur. How are you? I'm very good. Thanks very much. So we, we've had loads of people all day and yesterday too from many, many different backgrounds, um, all different types of science and tech. You're obviously from a music background. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So I've been really excited about this. I'm a musician uh, as well. So I'm, I'm so looking forward to this. And you're a composer, a composer mm -hmm. and a songwriter. Um, so you've started a tech company to help music creators, mm -hmm. um, which, is, which is very cool. But how important were your creative skills in starting that? Because everyone thinks you have to be very tech heavy, math heavy, but the creative skills are important. So did you find them important in your role? You know, I, like, uh, personally speaking, I think that's one of the misnomers or misunderstandings mm -hmm. around STEM. And uh, like, I, I do believe the creative industries in STEM run in parallel. Like yeah. it's, it's all about pulling things out of the ether, you know, making them into something real and like testing them, you know, whether it is with an audience or scientifically yeah. or whatever, you know, so um, they're both very complementary. Um, mm -hmm. And, and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's incredibly exciting to be fusing the both of them together as we're doing at the minute, so. Yeah, and I, I, th I think that's totally true, what you've said, you know, people do see them as vastly different, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. creativity, and science and tech, but they're not. There's there's just as much creativity in science and tech as, as the arts. A hundred percent. Yeah, it's like it's like bottling magic. Like there's something that mm -hmm. you're, you know, whether you're forming a hypothesis around you know a product that there might be a need for, yep. or a song that you feel that people will resonate with. Yes. And then you test that hypothesis, whether it be at a show mm -hmm. or, you know, with a director of a you know maybe a film or TV thing you're working on and you iterate until you get something useful to people you yeah. know and, and uh, yeah it's it's uh, it's fascinating and i didn't understand that until i lived it yes you know because those preconceptions and those notions of what stem was you know were very i experienced them to be very different yeah yeah, yeah. and i know obviously you're you're a, a, a composer you perform um uh, you know all, all that all that side of music how did doing those things kind of shape your entry into the tech space? Well, it, it, <clears throat> like I, I've, I've been very fortunate. I've toured with like a lot of big bands. I've played like all the festivals that you'd have heard of. I've composed music for all the like TV stations you'd have heard of. And I suppose in doing that, you know, you do get a, a much better understanding for what people want, you know what I mean? Yes. Like you get the impression of STEM as in, you're in a room as a scientist alone working in a lab or whatnot. Mm -hmm. And I found it to be a very collaborative thing, you know, both musically and in terms of engineering, software design, mm -hmm. electronics as I've been in like my things, electronics and software. Yeah. You know, so it's, um, you know, it's been really revealing, you know, to, yeah. to be on the journey, if you know what I mean. So. So for, for people watching who maybe don't know, what exactly is your tech business? You know, what's the, what's the premise? Yeah, well, so like Echo, which is, is my company, is a, it's a collaborative platform, mm -hmm. you know, so it allows people to collaborate, artists to collaborate on anything really, you know, so if you're writing songs, if you're, you know, if you're collaborating on your projects and your artwork and your album artwork and things like that, and like what we found is a real, with the emergence of NFTs and digital yep. collectibles, there's a real buzz for that. So um, we have like a waiting list with hundreds of people on it. Wow. We have, you know, customers signed up on three year contracts. One of them's nominated for a Grammy in April, you know, so it's like the best of the best. So it's not only, not only has STEM, STEM and music done that, you know, uh, for us, but it's, it's sort of, it's really, expanded my network, let's say, or allowed me to be surrounded by amazing and brilliant people, mm -hmm. you know? So um, again, that's not something I understood to be true starting out, yeah. you know? 
um, but it really is that sort of collaborative being around you know good people, inspirational people, hardworking people, talented people, and uh, you know people that you can really learn from and help create something with. So. And it is it is incredible, you know, um, th that you've merged all those things and that you've again found uh, a solution to a problem. Well, well apologies there for the. The fire alarm. Somebody's clearly burnt their toast yeah. uh, down it the kitchen me. there. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't us because we were both, we're both on camera. Up, so. Um, so I just wanted to ask you. You know, did your um, I guess did your music skills kind of prepare you for a career in business? And did you ever envisage at school this was something you would end up doing? Well, I, I'm fortunate in that my mum and dad are, are both. You know, self-starting. My mum had like a, a nursing home or a residential home, rather a small residential home, looked after elderly people. Mm -hmm. um, my father was like an, an inventor, is an inventor. Oh, wow. You know, uh, uh, like electronics. You know, and he's very much in the lab. You know, creating products and things yeah. that are useful for people. So, as the sort of EDNA philosophies, like I was exposed to those things growing up, mm -hmm. and not a lot of people have that opportunity. They're maybe exposed to different things. Um, but I think that's why things like this are very important because it helps to expose what's possible yeah. to more people. And one of the things that I didn't really realize growing up um, was like the people that you're in school with and that you're in college with and uni with, they're the people that are going to be running things in the next mm -hmm. 20 or 30 years. Yeah. And sort of when you, when you sort of look at it as, you know, that's your sort of glide path. Yeah. You know, it's a lot more empowering. You can see what's, you know, what can be done. Yeah. And you maybe have the confidence to do do those things, you know. And I think a lot of it is about being exposed to things, you know. Yeah. You're saying there about, you know, it's good having things like this so people know what the opportunities are. You can't are be what you can't see. That's exactly. the whole thing. Exactly, and that, you know. that's so true. And you're so lucky. Obviously, you came from the background. Your mum was a business owner with, with a nursing home. Your dad was an inventor. Uh, that's an incredible background, but that's probably quite an unusual background. You know, yeah. other people maybe don't have that. So for you to come on and be telling people about that and saying, look, this is, you know, if you're a musician, like you can still be a yeah. business. You can but still both be a business of them came person. from farming backgrounds, right? Which yeah. Is, which is like totally, like, you know, both of them come from farming families. And obviously there's like worth e work ethic. Yes. You know, there's mucking in, you know, doing what needs done, all that type of good stuff. So, um, you know, these are all things that you learn and you see, you know, or certainly I have mm -hmm. as I've progressed and developed relationships. And most of the time, you know, not being an idiot to people, like, and being a, a, a <laughs> cool person, if you know what I mean, to yeah. be, you know, to work with or whatever. Yeah. And yeah, it's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very fortunate, but that's why I think this is, like, really important, yeah. you know, to, sh to show people what's possible. And, like, what's possible is whatever you think is possible. Yeah. And, you know, any decision you make is not really permanent. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, I'm really fortunate to be surrounded by people who've built, like, billion-dollar companies yeah. in six years. Yeah. And then wow. they're on to the next thing. So how many six-year blocks do you have in your life to try different things? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's all these things you're perhaps exposed to that you're like, well, Jeepers, this is actually the way the world can potentially work. Yeah. You know? And hopefully, hopefully we are inspiring some some people today, um, w which would be great. I just want to finish off with a question we've asked everybody. Um, so from your unique perspective as a musician, as a creative who, who is within business and tech and STEM, what is the one big thing you really love about your career? Working with people. Like, like I'm just amazed at the people that I work with and like just how good they are at what, yeah. what they do and what's possible when you aim to co-create things with people. Yeah and those collisions of ideas. And you probably know it yourself yeah. from your music background. It's like you're in a room and where scientifically or you product wise things bounce off each other mm -hmm. or you're writing a song and things yeah. go a direction. You know, it's it's to be immersed in that process is yeah. the the process of the thing is the it's not the outcomes, it's like yeah. being immersed in yeah. the, in, the, in the thing itself. And that's so enjoyable and that kind of collaboration is always where the magic happens. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Whether yeah. it's music or music or STEM. Yeah, and that starts with like giving up your yeah. idea of yeah. being right or owning the yeah. outcome. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? It's yeah. like it's being like, open minded. Yeah, it's like birthing your idea child. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and letting it live and grow or whatever, you know, in the room or whatever room you're in, you know. Totally. Totally, yeah. and that's, that's a really fascinating and, and unique viewpoint today, yeah. I guess, for another one. So thank you so much. Can we please get a round of applause for JP? JP McCarty, please. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks very much.